use the given function to complete parts a through e below. So the function they give us is f of x equals negative x to the fourth plus 4x squared. So part a says to use the leading coefficient test to determine the graphs and behavior. So to do that, we look at the degree. So the degree is the biggest exponent. So in this case, the degree is 4. And what we care about is whether it is even or odd. So 4 is even. So we have even degree. And the leading coefficient is the number right in front of this term, so negative 1. And what we care about is whether it's positive or negative. In this case, it's negative. So we have even degree and a negative leading coefficient. So what you do is you think about the simplest function that has even degree and negative leading coefficient. So that function would be y equals negative x squared. And if you recall, this is an upside down parabola. So this falls left and falls right. So again, you first start by finding the degree, it's even. You find the leading coefficient, it's negative. Then using memory and knowledge, you say, okay, what's the simplest function that has even degree and the negative leading coefficient? Well, y equals negative x squared. And that one looks like this, so it falls left and falls right. Let's go ahead and click the correct choice. So it falls on both. So it should say falls, falls. It looks like it's B. Falls left and falls right. Let's try it. All right, good stuff. Let's see what the next question is. Find the x-intercepts. Okay, a little bit harder. So to find the x-intercepts, we have to take the whole thing and set it equal to 0. So for the x-intercepts, so I'm going to write our function again. It's f of x equals negative x to the fourth plus 4x squared. So we set this equal to 0, and we have to solve. So what can you factor out here? Well, there's a plus here. And there's a negative here, so what we'll do is we'll factor out a negative x squared. And that will leave us here with an x squared. And the reason is when you multiply these, you add the exponents, right? 2 plus 2 is 4. Now there's a positive here, so that means that this is negative, so we need a negative here as well. Beautiful stuff. And you can check, negative x squared times negative 4 is positive 4x squared. This factors further, so we get negative x squared x minus 2, x plus 2, and all of this is equal to 0. From this, we can see that the answers will be, this one gives us 0, this one gives us 2, this one gives us negative 2, and all of these are x values, right? Let's go ahead and type those in. Those are the x-intercepts. So we have 0, 2, and negative 2. Beautiful stuff. It says, at which zeros does the graph cross the x-axis? OK, so now we have to find the multiplicities of the zeros. So the multiplicities are the exponents here. So there's a 1 here, and there's a 1 here, and there's a 2 here. So whenever this exponent is even, whenever the multiplicity is even, it's going to touch and turn around. So at 0, the multiplicities, let me write them down. The multiplicity here is 2, the multiplicity here is 1, the multiplicity here is 1. Because it's even, it touches and turns around. 1 is odd, so it crosses. 1 is odd, so it crosses. So it looks like at 2 and negative 2, it's going to cross. That's what it wants, right? It says, at which 0 does the graph? Yeah, cross. OK, so 2 and negative 2. Let's try that. Beautiful stuff. And now it says, at which zeros does the graph of the function touch the x-axis and turn around? Well, at 0, the multiplicity is 2, and 2 is even. So whenever the multiplicity is even, it touches and turns around. So even touches and turns around. Odd crosses. So in this case, at 0, I almost messed up. I almost typed in 2. We want the 0, not the multiplicity, right? At 0, it's even. So it touches and turns around. All right, good stuff. A lot of questions. Find the y-intercept. All right, more stuff. The problem never ends. So to find the y-intercept, it even tells you. It says compute f of 0. That's really convenient. So yes, so to find the y-intercept, you always plug in 0. So I'm going to write down our function again. f of x is equal to negative x to the fourth plus 4x squared. So to find the y-intercept, we plug in 0 for all the x's. So we get negative 0 to the fourth 
plus 4 times 0 squared. So we just get 0. So it's just 0. So that's the y-intercept. So 0 comma 0. Here it just wants 0. f of 0 equals 0. Beautiful. Determine the symmetry of the graph. So even, odd, or neither. So we can look at the exponents. All of the exponents are even. So if you recall, when they're all even, the answer is even. So we have y-axis symmetry in this problem. Well, they don't mess around. Final check. So if you get that part wrong, unfortunately, you have to do the whole thing over again. That's pretty evil. Uh, now determine the graph of the function. So it's multiple guess. No, I'm kidding. We'll, we'll work it out. <laughs> um, we definitely don't want to get this wrong. Okay, so what do we have? Let's, let's recap what we have. We have our end behavior, and that was falls left, falls right. That was our end behavior. We have our intercepts, they're right here. Okay, based off that, we should be able to do it. So we use a different color. Let's try yellow. Boom, there's the y-axis, there's the x-axis. Okay, so we have a couple zeros. Zero, or x-intercepts. Zero, two, and negative two. The, 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 those are the x-intercepts, those are these. So it falls left and falls right, we know that. So it has to come from underneath like this. And at negative two, it crosses. So it has to cross, so it crosses. Then it comes back down. Then at zero, it touches and turns around. Boom. And then at two, it crosses. Boom. So it looks something like that. So it looks like the correct choice should be choice C. Let's try it. Beautiful stuff. And that's it. Kind of a tough question. Um, I hope that made sense.